Hello, good day. Once again, this is Arvin Alonso demonstrating to you basics of IT application tools, particularly in Microsoft Word. I have a question. If your boss says, prepare a letter to 100 clients or to our 100 clients with the same content but different recipients, how will you do it? How will you prepare it? Today, I will demonstrate to you how to prepare one letter that may be sent to more than one recipients, even thousand recipients for that matter. And that is called mail merge. So mail merge is used to create a batch email and letters to multiple recipients in an easy and fast way okay take note we can either use mail merge wizard or we can create on our own now there are three types of document types when we prepare a mail merge it's either letters email or the envelopes and labels so to demonstrate this, let me create or open a new blank document. So we go to mailings, then start mail merge. We will be using the wizard, step-by-step -step mail wizard. If we are familiar with uh, mailings, we can go directly to either creating the letters email messages and so on so this time i will show first step by step mail merge wizard i'll click on this take note that on the right portion of your document you will have the mail merge pane the first question that is asked here is what type of document are you working on so say for example i will have letters click next and then how do you want to set up your letter will it be using the current document this one or will i start from a template if i have a template you can choose a template here by clicking this one or start from an existing uh, document these are some of the previous documents that i have uh, with mail merge but let me demonstrate this one use the current document this blank template click next which is to select recipients so we either use an existing list select from outlook contacts or type a new list you can use an existing list you can browse either from an excel or from a database like a, a, a database from Microsoft Access so say for example that we type a new list and then create here the new address list dialog box appears uh, with uh, available fields so you have title first name last name and so on and so forth up to email address so those are the uh, fields given to you by the uh, recipients or new address list. But you can modify these fields. How? You can customize the columns. Columns here refers to the fields. Say for example, I click on this. And this one appears. So... I may uh, edit or delete some or add new address list or field names or columns. So, say for example, I will rename this one and just have barangay address. Okay. And the address line 2, I will delete it. And city, say for example city town or town 
Okay. State. Do we have a state here in the Philippines? None. So say for example, this will be province. So I will rename it into province. Then we have the zip code. Perhaps we rename this one into simply country only. Okay. Do we need the home phone number for the letter? If we don't need it, we can delete it. Click yes. If we don't need also the work phone number, delete. Email, delete. What if we would like to add, say for example, uh, position of the recipient. Add and then type position. Click OK. Then there you have it. So you can rearrange the one. Say for example, the position I would like to be placed right after last name. So I'll just click move up. So you notice that the position has been moved. So if you are done with editing the field names or columns, click OK. Now you are ready to type some values if you want to. Say for example, Mr. Nivra Osnola. President ABCD Company Atulayan Tugigaraw Cagayan 3500 Philippines Add more. New entry. Doctor. Arves. Boon. Manager. XYZ. Software. Uh, Cog. Sol, Lana, Cagayan, T502 for example, Philippines. Then you add more if you want to, say for example, Attorney, uh, George, Maribay, uh, President. Mars and Associates. Ugak. Tugigaraw. Agayan. So you can add more if you have more data. Anyway, you can just go back to this when there are additional data that you would like to have in your uh, address list. So Click OK. Let me just have three data sets. Click OK. Now, the application is asking you to save your database. Say, for example, I will save this one as uh, data customers. Save. So, these are the content. Take note, you can edit anytime you would like this to uh, be edited or you would like to add more by just simply clicking this one and edit click ok so we already have the database for our recipients then we can now write our letter write your letter okay uh, let me just skip the wizard and have this one Say, for example, I would like to prepare the letter. So, October 8, 2020. And then, I'll select, 
I'll have this one. Insert merge fields. Title. So you notice, this will be added. Space. Insert merge field. First name. Space. Insert merge field. Then you have that one. I'll press enter to the next line. Position. Comma. Space. Say for example, the company name. And then, barangay address, space, city or town, enter, zip code, for example, before the province, space, province, and then, country if we have here okay so enter anyway let me just format this one without a uh, line and paragraph spacing so i'll remove the spacing do it into zero and i'll press control one for my single spacing so that i will know the exact spacing okay so dear uh say for example Dear title space, what will I use? First name or last name? Say, for example, you would use first name, colon, greetings. This is to inform you that you are one of our valued clients in this regard you will be given gift certificates to be claimed at our office thank you Say, for example, this is the content. Respectfully yours. Okay. Ina. G. Wapa. Marketing Director ABA Company Okay So say for example This is the content of the letter Now We can click finish and merge Or we can preview the results now, Let us try we, we preview the result Click on this So you notice That the letter we prepared with those merge fields will now show you the list the data set that we have in our recipient so you can move this one okay so or you can finish and merge when you finish and merge you can either edit individual documents print documents so say for example, you can directly print or, or edit individual documents. Click edit, click all for example, okay. Another document will be created. And in this document, if you have three recipients, there will be three pages with different recipients. You can edit individually if you want to. If you have 100 or 1000 recipients, there will be hundreds or 1,000 pages of this document which is ready for printing or you can also edit if you want to. So that's all about uh, mail merge. I will not save this one. I'll just go back to this. So I'll just remove this one, preview the result. So this is... So do not forget to save this one. Save. 
Okay, say for example, mail merge for customers. Question, what happens to the address list? The address list is actually stored in my data sources of the documents folder, this one. So when I open this one, okay, so you have here the table. I will enable. So you have here, you can add also some customers here in the database, uh, opening the Microsoft Access application. Okay, so I hope you learned something new from this presentation of mail merge or mailings. Thank you for watching. God bless everyone.